Do you have $1,000 left in your bank account? That's great! And you are wondering what to do with it? How about buying new clothes or the latest iPhone? Those are great things, but let's look at it from a different angle. What if you put away your current consumption and don't spend the money? What if instead you multiplied it and laid the foundation for your future wealthy self? I may surprise you, but $1,000 put away in the present can mean hundreds of thousands to millions in the future. You can quit your 9 to 7 job, free yourself from your daily routine and do it for the rest of your life. Sound great? Perfect! Let's figure out the optimal amount that could cover your bills and living expenses. I've been thinking and I think $50,000 a year of passive income might be enough for most people to live comfortably where they can afford to spend their time however they want. Welcome to Invest with Jury channel where today I'm going to show you how your $1,000 in your pocket can change your life. I love planning and calculating, so it's going to be all about the numbers today. If you are a fan of investing, you've come to the right place. How much capital do you need to passively earn $50,000 a year? If I go by the long-term statistical model of stock market appreciation, I'll get to 9-10% to appreciation. After subtracting 2% inflation, I get a 7% appreciation that we can count on for the future. To get $50,000 a year in passive income at 7% annual stock market appreciation, you need to have capital of $714,285. This is an inflation adjusted amount, so you will actually have a higher amount in the future account. To simplify the example, I don't include tax withholdings, broker fees, your time and other expenses. $714,000 is not exactly a small amount. How you can reach that kind of capital? Very important criterion is the length of the investment. The sooner you start investing regularly, the faster you can reach your dream goal. A young person has a huge advantage of a long investment horizon of 30 to 40 years. The truth is, he doesn't have as much money as a person who has a career going and is making many times more money. Everything has advantages and disadvantages. Next you need to consider what level of risk you are willing to take. If you are younger, you can take more risks. If you are older and have a family, you should be more conservative. A younger person makes mistakes, loses money, but easily recovers over time. If you are older and make a few major investment mistakes, you might as well say goodbye to $50,000 of passive income. Let's model a few options for achieving $50,000 of annual passive income. I base the calculation on an investment in an ETF, publicly traded fund with the ticker SPY, which replicates the S&P 500 index containing the 500 largest US companies operating in different industries. The S&P 500 index is an indicator of the overall health of the US stock market and its appreciation, adjusted for inflation, is the aforementioned 7%. What do we focus on in our calculations? Time will be the deciding criterion for selection. In how long are we able to get to the amount of $714,000 that will generate a passive income of $50,000? In option 1, let's look at an investment of $1,000. The first column is the starting age. Suppose you are 20 years old. In the next rows, you see how old you will be when you reach the target capital of $714,000. The next column contains the increasing number of years. Then the initial investment you put in weekly investment and interest rate, deposits, how much you put in, interest, how your investment has grown over time, and finally portfolio, what is your final account balance, how much you put in plus interest. In this example, you would need 94 years to reach $714,000. If you started at age 20, you would reach age 130. That's not a very encouraging picture. You will probably be dead by then, but you will have a $50,000 annuity coming into your account. <laughs> Let's move on. In option 2, I was able to significantly reduce the number of years. If you were able to add $50 each week to a one-time investment of $1,000, you'd get to half the number of years. 95 years turns into 44. 
everything else remains the same. As I said, my goal is to get to $714,000 in capital as quickly as possible. You have $1,000 available, market appreciation is given. What you can control is the amount of the weekly deposit. So I will increase the regular deposits from $50 to $100 per week. We are going from 44 years to 35 years, that's better, savings of 9 years. The next option increases your weekly investment to $150. I understand that putting aside $150 a week may be a lot of money for some, but realize that you're putting it aside for yourself and your future. For example, how much you're paying off in credit card interest. Wouldn't that be a similar or higher amount? As you can see in the table, we have a regular investment of $150 on top of the initial $1,000 you would reach $714,000 in capital in 29 years. That sounds better than 95 years, doesn't it? Suppose you are doing well at your job and you negotiate better and better salary terms over time. Therefore, you are able to set aside the aforementioned $150 per week plus increase your investment by another $50 each year. If you are 20 years old, this may seem unrealistic, but have you researched how much senior positions in your future job pay? If you look at the table, you can see that by increasing the weekly $150 by another $50 a year, we get to our $714,000 goal in less than 17 years. I would end the simulation here and refer you to this table in the video caption. Use it to find your optimal ratio of deposits to years and estimate how much money you are able to put into investments on a regular basis. Please note that you should base this on a realistic and achievable amount. This is because it looks good on paper, but may not be realistic to achieve in reality. As you can see, becoming financially independent and retiring may not take that long. This approach is very conservative. All you have to do is roll up your sleeves, invest for 17 years and live off the fruits of your efforts for the rest of your life. As the saying goes, you reap what you plant. Of course, there are other ways to spend your $1,000. For example, you make do with a semi-passive income of $25,000 and make the rest part-time from time to time. Or you cut your financial needs in half and get to passive income in 12 or 13 years instead of 17. You can invest your $1,000 in your education and increase your skills. For example, enroll in a programming course and get a high paying job. That will give you the opportunity to invest much larger sums of money and thus get into early retirement faster. An excellent option is to inherit assets and monetize and invest them. This is an option that will give you an immediately passive income. Gone are the ideas that you have to work until 65 and then retire. If the topic of financial security interests you, look into the FIRE – Financial Independence Retire Early Movement. I've made several videos about passive income and the FIRE movement. This movement has helped many people break free from working for money and find the freedom to choose how to manage their time. Incidentally, I dedicate entire Invest with Jury channel to financial security and early retirement. I myself have been financially independent since the age of 35, thanks to my real estate portfolio, and I try to pass on to others how to achieve this as well. That's all for today. Have fun and work on your financial plan. 